Dear students, welcome to this online class, Google class on the subject elements of machine design. I am your teacher. You all know me. I am Dr. S.B. Wesley, working as head of the department in uh, Government Polytechnic Jargon in the Mechanical Engineering Department. Because of the COVID pandemic, we are un in, not in a position to conduct physical classes in the classrooms. But we have this technology by which uh, we can uh, interact online like this. Uh, okay, I hope you have you have had a long uh, six months uh, holidays in your houses okay coming to the subject this subject is elements of machine design so this is one of the important uh, and a major subject uh, in the previous uh, scheme g scheme they were studying in the sixth semester but in i scheme it has come to the fifth semester and this course code is 22564 okay and uh, regarding the teaching and examination scheme this has four lectures per week and uh, no tutorials and two practicals so totally there are six credits for it and your final exam which is for 70 marks will be conducted for four hours and uh, out of 70 you know you should get 28 and uh, in the theory there is a, a progressive assessment for 30 marks these two put together again you should get 40 marks and uh, in the practical you have end semester exam and uh, this is an internal exam you will have to write you will have to um, you will have to do practicals uh, and uh, you'll have to prepare uh, um, your journal and uh, and submit on the basis of that you will get this 25 marks and also there is a Progressive assessment. Progressive assessment is 25 marks, and uh, there is an internal viva verse which is for 25 marks. So, so totally 50 marks for practicals and 100 marks for theory. So totally there is 150 marks for this subject. Okay. So now uh, coming to uh, this subject, we have this subject has uh, some prerequisites. Previously, you have studied uh, theory of machines and you have studied uh, mechanical engine drawing or mechanical working drawing, you may be calling it. And uh, you are having um, MEM, mechanical engineering materials. These subjects are prerequisite subjects uh, for this course, for this subject. Without studying those subjects, you cannot study this because you may not understand because we'll be using those uh, terms here and uh, uh, all the ideas that we have studied there. Okay, so uh, coming to the first chapter, the first chapter is uh, the um, fundamentals of machine design. Now, if you say machine design, you know, this word design appears to be a great word, but uh, actually, uh, every every time we say design we have to say it is machine design because there can be any number of designs other designs dress design can be there or uh, interior design can be there uh, and uh, so many other designs can be there but in what perspective we are studying that is called as machine design okay so this machine design, what is machine design? The machine design means what are we going to do? Are we going to draw or something uh, like in uh, engine drawing and machine drawing? Or uh, are, we, are we going to paint something or, or something? 
you know it is nothing like that as a machine design as a <coughs> here a definition is given machine design is the process of selection of material the shape the size and the arrangement of mechanical element so that the resultant machine will perform the prescribed task you see this is the design of machine machine design so that means we are going to design a machine and actually we are not going to design the entire machine in one go it is rather design of machine element machine element is a machine element means one part of a machine you see if we learn how to design one part uh, in each chapter we'll be learning uh, the, mm, the how to design one part and uh, finally when you finish the course or something you know you can put the knowledge of all these chapters and you will be uh, in a position to uh, assemble a machine okay so this is machine design means actually what are what are the things involved the first thing that is involved is selection of the material so we through which which material you are going to use uh, are you going to use aluminium are you going to use cast iron are you going to use steel or are you going to use wood plastic or ceramic which material are you going to use you see you have to choose you see each material has its own properties it can be used in its own uh, for its own uh, strengths and weaknesses it can be used okay so we have to choose the appropriate material for that component then we have to select the shape how is our component mm, mm, uh, going to look like and of size what will be the size of it and uh, what will be the arrangement of the elements suppose the you know we are going to have number of components four or five components how are they going to be arranged in relationship uh, with one to the other okay so so this design machine design is this process of selecting material shape size and the arrangement of the mechanical elements such that the resultant res, resulting machine will be able to press, uh, perform its prescribed task okay so that is the definition okay and uh, now let us talk about the design philosophy see this design philosophy design philosophy can be in three major parts one is the set of component principles and their logical derivation that means there are certain principles design principles which we have to follow a set and then an operational discipline which result in action so we have to follow a discipline uh, an operational discipline with the result which results in action what actions we are going to do okay and then a critical feedback Let's see first what certain principles are there certain operations will be there and after doing according to the principle you have done these operations and then what is resulted you have to see and you have to give the feedback feedback means you see whether what you have made is made properly or not uh, that you have to give as a feedback okay so this is about the design philosophy the philosophy of machine design is based upon some general principles of engineering design these principles are the need need means you know if you want to make anything first there should be a necessity somebody should feel the need it there is a need for this this machine to be made okay so that is need then uh, physical realizability whether physically we can do it or not 
then economical viability that means whether it will be financially advisable to take up that project or not and uh, uh, next is design criteria uh, the fourth one uh, uh, that means what are the principles that we are uh, what is the formula of principles and other things that we are going to use and uh, fifth thing is design process for any for in any work to be done there will be a process that is the in design we call it as design process what are the various steps of doing it then sixth is reduction in uncertainty that means if there is any uncertainty in making that uh, machine or something so all those uncertainties should be reduced then seventh is future design uh, de design decisions okay Let's see every time we make a machine the first one may have some problems again make second time uh, we can eliminate some of the problems again you make the third time some more problems you can eliminate finally you know when you are making no you, you the, your machine is going to be uh, every time it will improve okay so future design decisions you know how your decisions going to be and communication communication means how do you communicate with uh, one another and keeping the documents even uh, somebody just by looking at the documents he'll be able to know how that machine is made and he'll be able to make it you see in the block diagram format this elements of engineering design philosophy is given like this here are general principles and inputs uh, concerning a design and this is uh, discipline of design and then evaluation scheme evaluation means you see depending upon the uh, general principles you design it you make it you choose the material you choose the size and shape and you design the uh, things assemble the things and then you see you here you are evaluating that means how your machine has come and then if any problems are there you have to go go back and uh, you have to correct it okay this is the feedback you have to see to, you know, test to test to test you have to keep on testing and you have to rectify the problems and then when all the problems are rectified when no problem is there then your particular design will be ready